spent um, learning how to write descriptive and narrative narrative essays. Uh, so this is kind of this is more of a broad essay, and we get to pick our topic, but it has to be based like descriptive or narrative. Right now they're writing their first essay. It's a narrative description essay, three to five pages long. And so they are um, practicing those skills and we were doing a peer editing activity, allowing them to look at each other's rough drafts and make revision suggestions. I'm trying to be a little bit we used Google Docs this year, and I've never used that before, but we really enjoyed it because it, give, it gave the students a chance to see other people's work, comment on it immediately on the computer, so they got instant feedback. Um, it was just kind of the general experience of meeting that friend, and then over the years how that relationship has changed. Okay. Okay, because that was going to be my first question is, do you want to cover such a huge span of time? But you do, if that's your purpose. Okay, then if you're going to do that, you want to be really careful about... In order to peer edit, we're using uh, Google Docs on our new laptops. <laughs> None of us knew how to use Google Docs before um, we got a lesson on it, so we all started on Word document, but then we moved it over to Google Docs. She said that was bad. Like here, if you, there's like a thing that's like... Because you're supposed to figure it out. See how you're, you have the number one there? Yeah. You take the number, delete the number, both and, and then you go over here and insert that little number key. And then it automatically puts the number one. I thought. But I'll put a space between your last name and your number. Oh, wait. Okay. I was able to look at all of their papers last night at home. As long as you have internet at home, you have access to the information. I could not only comment immediately on their papers, but I could see the comments that the other students left. And those comments were tagged with names. So I could clearly see who did a good job of revision, who needs to give better advice, who didn't do any revising at all. Um, and I can keep track of whether or not they make those changes because I can go back and look at the history and see the comments that were made. It's easier so we can, if we don't have time in class to peer at it, we can take it home and you can access it from home and peer at other people's uh, papers.